up with the bird. Did he think she did and work? this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama June Bug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Ant, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a tiny cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Oh, she's just frustrated with him. I want to mommy ever get frustrated with you? Yeah. yeah. I want to no. why she should stay on his closet. I'm going to find out. I but this guy don't fly. <laughs> but once he was alone, Kippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Kippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. Guacamole. What was that? What was what? So up he went again, and again what it appeared. Was that? It's what he wanted to be. A chihuahua. No, a chihuahua, right? Oh, then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouth, 